Hello everyone. My name is Poon Nayu. I am a PhD student from the National University of Singapore, and I would like to share some insights about my paper published in the journal Applied Microbiology and Biotechnology. This paper is titled as Engineering Asterica coli to assimilate beta alanine as a major carbon source. With the ever growing threat of plastic pollution, the development of an engineered microbial species which can assimilate plastic monomers as a carbon source has seen much interest in recent years. This is because it provides a more environmentally benign alternative for plastic waste management as compared to the current conventional methods such as burial or incineration. Theoretically, plastic waste can be broken down into their monomers and these monomers can then be turned into thousands of useful products through microbial transformation. The issue of greenhouse gas emission from petroleum-based plastic production has also spurred the exploration of plastics which are derived from biological sources. A well-known example for this kind of plastic is the polyester made of 1,3-propanediol or 1,3-PDO in short. However, the biological pathway to assimilate 1,3-PDO into the central metabolism remains largely unknown. This poses a potential challenge to the upcycling of such plastic waste. In this paper, we propose that the 1,3-PDO assimilation pathway could pass through a key intermediate known as malonate semi-aldehyde, or MSA in short. However, since MSA is a toxic aldehyde, beta-alanine was then chosen as a surrogate substrate in this study to construct the lower part of the proposed pathway. According to the literature, beta-alanine could easily be converted into MSA using a beta-alanine 2-pyruvate transaminase from the strain Pseudonomus aeruginosa. However, the subsequent step to generate acetyl-CoA from MSA is not known. As such, we embarked on a series of phenotype screening, adaptive laboratory evolution, and transcriptomic analysis experiments. Here, we found two CoA acylating MSA dehydrogenases from the strain Vibrio nitrogens, which can complete this metabolic pathway. These genes were then introduced into E. coli to form our first prototype strain, BA02. BA02 was observed to propagate to an optical density of 4.5 in the 600 nanometer spectrum after 96 hours from 5 grams per liter of beta alanine. Next, two approaches were used to improve the performance of beta alanine assimilation of BA02. First, the beta alanine 2 pyruvate transaminase and MSA dehydrogenases were expressed from a single plasmid to mitigate antibiotic stress. Second, a native 3 hydroxy acid dehydrogenase was disrupted in the genome to abolish carbon losses to 3 hydroxy propionate production from MSA. The accumulation of these two measures form our best performing strain, BA07 delta and was observed to achieve an optical density of 6 within 24 hours from 5 grams per liter of beta alanine. The construction of BA07 then lays a solid foundation to establish the 1,3-PDO assimilation pathway. This research work is supervised by Professor Zhou Kang and Professor Anthony Sinsky and is founded by the National Research Foundation and the Ministry of Education of Singapore. Thank you all for listening.